Hey. Hey. We're back. What's up, Steven? Just in time for game two. All right. You missed the you missed the molly whopping of Jessatana. I rode a fifteen, boys. I'm still shuffling for good luck. Uh... Oh, Twenty. <laughs> Twenty for Nick. Brandon's going last again. Go ahead and get your big crybaby face up there, Brandon. <laughs> it's gonna be a rough one again. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's looking like it. No, no, she could dance for that one on the die roll. <laughs> Mr. Cool, you got your roll in? Uh, not yet. Brandon rolled a twenty-one. Twenty-one. I'll take. It. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon would be real mad if he could read. No. <laughs> Bro, you missed it. Mr. Cool smacked me for like 35 damage. On and like 10, 5? Yeah, I didn't have any blockers. Alright, I'll keep this hand. Very different than my last game. <laughs> 11. I rolled an 11. Steven, I've... St the cards right here. Steven, last game, I like... Nick played like three ramp spells in a row. And then, I, like, on my turn, I played, like, three signets in one turn. <laughs> Mr. Cool to you, he says. Oh, like, yeah. If they if they didn't have a wrath when they did, they would have been dead, like, two turns later. Don't forget to reset your health totals. Uh, who all needs to change? Nick. Mr. Cool, what'd you roll? Uh, I'm Eleven. Go first spring goes Eleven. Okay, so I just need to change. Fair enough. You're dang right, I do. <laughs> Nick, you gotta reset your health total. No, I don't. I can start half dead. It's only fair. Uh, I'll keep this hand, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna keep mine, I guess. I don't know where. So, are we ready then? I'm ready. Ryan, you ready? Oh, yeah, yeah I'm ready. Okay, I will start. Draw. Okay, yeah, the other side tapped and pass. Oh yeah, are those cards ever coming out? I've seen like thirty spoilers since then. Did the, did, the, did those lands actually come out, or are they still on the way? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Soon, TM. Yeah, they announced that like stuff months, like a year ago. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was just like a three months lag for secret layers, right? So. Oh, was that a secret layer? Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's secret layer land. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Hey, I'm gonna play a wooded foothills in fast turn. I'm gonna gain two life. Oh, you're playing a Loro? Yep, and I'm gonna play a reliquary tower. That sounds good. Oh, look at that. This is the only deck I, I run reliquary tower in, because it's the only deck that needs it. Blasphemy. Uh, I'm gonna play a volcanic island. I only play reliquary tower in my green decks. They're the only ones that are actually capable of drawing like twelve cards in a turn. That's true. Well, this deck runs <laughs> necropotence, so I can just dump like thirty life into necropotence. Boom! Brandon slamming the money on the table. The money on a four cent for a dodge game. ram. No slam. <laughs> I sold a Dodge Ram for this card. Um, you about have to. Uh, springs, best turn. I'll uh, fetch it in step there.
Oh, that's cool. Not that half of the deck. I grab a blood crypt. Yeah, untap draw. I'll play a breeding pool. Who's do life? I'll pay two. Play a dragon tempest. And pass turn. All right. So, lead. Swamp. Dark ritual. Oh boy. Here we go. Necropotence. Here it all goes. Oh boy, look at that. Responses to Necropotence. Eh. I've gained two life. And I am going to dump 30 life into Necropotence. I like it. When do you, when do those actually go to your hand? All right, Brandon, room floor trap him. Room floor is down hand size, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Yeah. I'm going down to 14 lines. We're going to have the seven cards he wants, hopefully. Oh, I have Reliquary Tower. I have no max hand size. Oh, well, you don't have this card. There you go. That works pretty good. Yeah, yeah, That was his first land. His only land up until the swamp. And I will pass my turn. It's all according to plan. Hey, my turn. Really so. Um, well, guys. <laughs> they ran isn't one mana, Brandon. <laughs> yep. Uh I mean how do you follow that up? How about we try with a companion? Yeah, I already told you how. You rune flare trap him and he dies. <laughs> how do you follow up a Necropotence for 30? <laughs> I made the mistake of tapping out. Well, actually, my mistake last time was not having a blocker, so. <laughs> Get a blocker out? There you go. I'll pay two mana for a Kessig Flame Breather. Oh, yeah. That's my turn. L little gutter snipe. Basically the same thing as Mr. Cool did over there. Possibly even better. I got a creature out of it. <laughs> Where's Mr. Cool's blocker, huh? All right here. <laughs> um, so I have an idea. Yeah? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Is it, does it start with windfall? <laughs> that would be a pretty good idea. Mm, I guess I'll put an underground stadium. And, Do uh, I buy 30 cards? Oh, next turn. Alright, untap draw. Play a hollow fountain. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else going on. Full game, pass turn. I'm going to play in uh, planes, and I'm going to pay three. Phyrexian Unlife. I don't lose the game at having zero life. I'll respond. Whoa. I'll pay two blue and counterspell it. Wow.
Good turn, Brandon. My turn. Here we go. Play a river glide pathway. And then I'm gonna pay three <laughs> mana. Yeah, that's, that's what I heard too, Steven, from the <laughs> silence. It was the implication. I'm gonna play a midnight clock and everyone will take uh, one damage Oof. from the flame breather. Ouch. Yeah, that, that part might might get Mr. Cool pointed at somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's oh no, you counterspelled my Phyrexian Unlife. You're getting all the hate. Oh, it's all to you, Ryan. Yeah, I'll go first, though. And that's Mr. <laughs> you. Just gonna conspicuously tap four mana. Play a guardian project. Pretty decent. And then pass turn. I'll draw. I'll conspicuously play a fourth land and I'll name Dragon as my unclaimed territory. Weird, huh? Uh Lightly. And then I'll pass turn. Cause dragons cost six mana. I don't have six men. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah, I devote my deck the opposite of Brandon. <laughs> He's like, as long as I got one land, I should so be able to play, play an something. Island, and then I'm going to pay four. <laughs> Core Cartographer. Going to go fetch a planes card to the battlefield tap. Seems good. Careful, Ryan's got some blue mana left over there. Sure do. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna turn this back into Scion of the Ur Dragon. Because I enjoy that deck more. I just it feels more toolboxy overall. Yeah, I think I'd like the sound better. This one, this one's pretty straightforward, kind of like a, a Zakama deck or something, where you're just ramp as much as possible, play Tiamat. If it resolves, you probably win the game. Get your combo pieces win, yeah. And there's even more dragons now. And the new D the new D twenty dragons look seem like really cool with Scion. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. I was looking oh, for the tower. Yeah. Think about those guys. Pretty neat. Yeah, like play play two signets, play Scion on turn four, turn five, swing, roll D twenty. <laughs> uh, I think it's your turn, Brandon, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, past and searching. Okay. You know, I will untap. Okay. Upkeep. Upkeep. Yep. I get a uh, token guy on this thing. That was a uh, photographer. Boop. Draw a card. Uh. Oh. Mountain. Yeah, I'll pay two arcane signet. Everyone take one. And then wow. I will pay three. Oh. And I'll cast Fey Ram. I think I, kill, I think I may have killed myself with Necropotence. <laughs> Uh, well, that's all I can do to you this turn. So well, I will... you, at least you're gaining two life a turn, because if you weren't, you'd be super screwed against me. Two life so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Nick, what you I got? You, you playing a creature and drawing a card? That's what, I, that's what I'm hearing. What you got? I'm drawing a card for my turn. As long as you guys don't 
fill my life gain my life in ingesting spells. Hmm. That sounds like a Ryan thing. <laughs> I'm gonna play this tropical island. I'm gonna pay five mana. Play an angel. You know to cast this mana crit for zero. Oh. For two more mana to play oh. more five. Oh gosh. And then I get a draw card. Any responses? No? Okay. You're not gonna counter counterspell Morphon? Guys, you, you act like I'm just running a counter deck. You are. You counter a spell, therefore you are a counter deck. I played, I played one. <laughs> You're in blue! <laughs> Anyways, that's my turn. Yes. I, uh, I do nothing in a draw card. Ha ah. ha! I then don't drop a land in past turn. Wow. Hey, you need six. <laughs> I do, Brandon. I feel you, dude. I missed my land drop, too. Six, I'm gonna play El Hammer, it's archive. I'm gonna gain twice as much life. I'll uh, respond. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna swan song that. Hold up. My bad. As it doesn't hit artifacts. I can't read. Uh oh. Aha. Booyah! Thank you. It's enchantment. Instant or sorcery. Eat it. <laughs> and then I'm also going to play a renegade map tap. And I'll pass turn. Alright, that means it's my turn. So I will start untapping all of my stuff. I'll get a midnight or a whatever counter, hour counter, draw a card, play an island. Alright, and this is kind of where stuff gets a little silly. So. I guess Ryan has some mana, so we'll see what happens. I'll pay four. Yeah, that's fine. I'll pay four mana. He has Storm Kill an artist. Yep. Oh, neat. Okay, so yeah, this is where it's, it gets a little silly. Uh, I will then um, I'll pay a blue and I'll cast Distortion Strike on Bayran. Um, so triggers, first of all, Bayran gets plus two, plus two, uh, Kessig does two damage to everybody. Storm kill me. That's twice because of Bayran, right? Yep. Oh, uh, no, I'm good. Didn't. Storm kill makes two treasures. Bayran gets an additional plus one, plus O, oh, and can't be blocked, and Distortion Strike has rebound. Uh, then I will pay a blue, and I'll cast Twisted Image uh, on Bayran. Why not? Bayran will get plus two, plus two. Two damage to everybody from Kessig. Storm Kill makes me two treasures. And then I draw a card. Uh, I'll sack a treasure. I'll respond. Yeah. Okay. It's my treasure sack? Yeah. Okay. I'll Cyclonic Rift Baron. In response to that, I'll cast Brainstorm with my blue. Uh, pay one and I'll swan song it. 
Oh. <laughs> I guess actually you get the treasures anyway. No, I'm good with that. You can brainstorm. Okay. Yeah, I would still get all the triggers, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, I guess trigger-wise, Bayran triggers don't matter. Kessick still hits everybody for two. Maybe they go to five treasures. Keep up with the Bayran triggers in case you draw a counter or something that can protect her. There's only one in the deck, so... Uh, I draw three. One... Two, three. Shout out to Lotto for selling me this uh, foil with Iconic Rift at a discount. Ooh, nice. Um, put those on top. Uh, okay, that's fine. And then. No, that's that's it, I guess. Actually, do I want to? Actually, hold on, never mind. I still, I can still cast stuff on this stack, right? Yeah. Or no. Yeah. Oh, I can't because after brainstorm. Okay, then I'll sack one. Actually, yeah, why not? I'll sack three of the treasures. Go to two. And I'll cast Valakut Awakening, uh, putting both cards on the bottom. So I'll draw three, but before that, trigger-wise, uh, I guess two, two damage to everybody, and four treasures. Is that happening, Ryan, or no? Yes? Yeah. Okay. I'll put both of these cards on the bottom. I might be dead on Brandon's turn. <laughs> Draw three. Might be. Uh, damn. I should have kept my other. No way. If not, I'm for sure dead on Ryan's turn. All right, everything else can go off now, I guess. <laughs> You're assuming I'm going to do something. I still only have four lands. <laughs> so what, going backwards now, Bayron goes back to my hand? Yeah. Okay. And I'm just keeping the game going, guys. I'm helping Nick. Pull everybody down, keep nicking the game. <laughs> then, I guess... Second... Second main. main phase. Yeah, second main phase. I'll spend three treasures. Actually... Yeah. I'll spend three treasures and go to one. And I'll cast Bayran. And then I'll sack my last treasure for a blue and cast Portent. Oh, uh, Swan Song it. Okay. I still get the triggers. Yeah. So, Bayran gets plus two, plus two. Kessig does two damage to everybody, and I get two treasures. And you get a two two bird. Two two bird. Uh, He's blue. I got one in here somewhere. Dies. To, uh, I die to my own necropotence. Uh, well, fortunately for you, he bounced my Bayran, so I couldn't swing her. So that's about all I can do this turn. So, actually, I take that back. Do you have any blockers, Mister Cool? As a cartographer. Oh, never mind. I played. I played Stormkill in this turn. Never mind. Uh, at past turn. Oh, we get to turn. Uh, let's roll a die and see if it's odds or evens. Odds, I take damage. That's a one. I take three. Remember that time that we had that enchantment that, uh, killed Steven? Oh, yeah. That was Six great. eight. <laughs> died to his mana crypt. That was, a great time. <laughs> that was a great time. It was the best of times, some people say. I would only ever run Mana Crypt in one deck, and that's Eldrazi's. I don't run Soul Ring in any decks, so I can't run Mana Crypt. I would run Mana Crypt in decks that have three or four mana commanders that are all one color. Or, also, or, like $100 for no reason. or, if I'm playing like a six drop commander, it has at least three colorless.
But it also depends on if the deck cares if you want to ramp or not. I want to play three and play the Great Hinge. I'm still iffy on that card, Nick. It was great that one time, and then I swear that card's never done anything ever since. <laughs> it does a million things every time you play it, Ryan. Now let me put it this way. Uh, I have a holler deck, and I still don't play that card. <laughs> yes. It's weird. It is way overrated. It should not be. It should not be the price it at. It's at. Mr. Well, cool, turn me, one, brother, we towered. Uh, turn two, dark writ into necro potents paid thirty life. <laughs> That's how this game started. <laughs> Great that start, was... and then Ryan's been keeping me at bay. <laughs> To be fair, I cast two spells to stop Brandon. Only one spell to bother you. <laughs> I was gonna, I wasn't, or Frexion Unlife was out. Or was going to be out. Um, I'll pay four. I'll play Archangel of Thune. Uh, four because more makes it cost one less. Two from the Great Hinge, two from land. I also gain two life. And draw two cards. And I dude will get a counter. And I will draw two cards. Okay, yeah, you gain the life on the tap. Yep, okay. Did you do anything, Ryan? Say what? Ramps you, draws your cards, it gives you dudes counters. No, I was thinking that the, 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 Archan life. the Archangel should have had another counter, but it, the life was on the tap for mana. Yep, yep. I probably should have tapped differently. Could have tapped it and given everything counters. Um, Do I die to Brandon on my turn? I hope not. I think probably everyone dies to Brandon because I can't stop him anymore. <laughs> no, I can't stop him either, so... I, I I might have been able to do something if my net, if my correction on life would have stuck. Here's just somehow drawing two lands. <laughs> draw. But who needs to draw cards when you can just draw the top thirty of your deck? I'll uh use my two non-blue lands and play a Celesnia signet. Steven, you would never. <clears throat> I gained four life. So I go to ten life. I'm gonna crack my renegade map and go get me a base. And this is where, like, next turn, my Scion deck would have a play with this deck that has no play. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. This be at seven instead of five. Seven's a lot of mana. It's a big chunk. Unless you're Nick, and you have that on, like, turn three. That is true. I was just last game. What's your enchantment do over there, Ryan? Uh, nothing. It's completely blank until I have six mana. Well, <laughs> you, bl you blew up my Phyrexian Unlife. You don't want to deal with, like, Brandon's 40 permanents over there? You blew up my Phyrexian Unlife. The, the retaliation Te is real. Te technically, no, it I didn't blow up. It never existed. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> You gotta stop branding, Mr. Cool. That's, That's illegal in some states now, Ryan. Uh, if I play a flying creature, that creature gains haste. So it's not even haste to my whole board. And if it's a dragon that entered, then it pings something for the amount of dragons I control. Which, as you can see, is so many. Yeah, I, I can't. I, I can't let the Rex and Unlife be encountered. Go, go, go unretaliated. I'm gonna exile your enchantment. That's cool. We're dead next turn anyway. <laughs> you sure? I've got. I, I got answers. Possibly. I should anyway. 
Brandon has instant speed mana generators. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, unless he's tapping for making treasures, he's going to storm and win on his turn. I doubt it. I only have two cards in my hand. What's the CMC of uh, the Midnight Clock? Three. Three. Is there anything on that board that's four? No. Nothing in the deck is four. Stormkill. <laughs> Stormkill. Oh, Stormkill's four? I thought it was only yeah. two. I thought the card was super busted. <laughs> oh, no, it costs four mana. It's a big boy. Tapping the uh, tower for a white. Exile Stormkill Artist. What card is Oh, D Spark? D Spark, yep. Uh, tap a, ta sack of treasure, dive down. <laughs> I'm trying to think of that was something I can do. Eh. Eh, tell him you're fine, Brandon. I don't even, that ain't even a thing. <laughs> that was just something I was doing on the side anyway. And two for an ornithopter, apparently. Wait, 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 wait. Could you revoke existence? Kill Great Hinge? Could I have. Could. Huh? Well, you said this card isn't doing anything, right? Why are you trying to blow it up? Well, it doesn't do anything, except when Archangel's out, because it then, then it does too much. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm at 10 light, and he's got enough to kill me on board. Man, I do realize that it, it's Guardian Project, except it also gives counters and taps for mana and gains life. Yes. But when I need it to give me a counter, it's on turn two when it can't be on the board. <laughs> Fine. It's for later in the game. It's to give all the other dudes counters and gain light. It's more all your dudes draw cards, really. It's just a better guardian project. If you play that for your commander's already out. The thing is, I don't, you might not find enough dudes to be worth it. It doesn't, not good in a deck that does not lose like 20 dudes. That's what you think, Steven, but I'm wearing a plug right now. Giggity. Oh, it's my turn. Ooh. It's a whole month now? Yeah, dude, all of this month. <laughs> and it's been a whole month, it's been a whole month like every, every for the past like five years. <laughs> I'm gonna play a Sulphur Falls. <laughs> Steven knows the joke. It's a. Uh, it's very different than what I said, but he knows the reference. <laughs> Say no good job. Oh, I get a counter on this thing. Uh, I gotta get that thing to what? Twelve? <laughs> yeah, that thing's almost not good. Even he's the Steven is a toilet game. I think he just takes it up when we're not looking, but <laughs> that's it. Uh, what can I get it to? It costs three mana per Um Wow, this really sucks big time. Do I wanna do this instead maybe? I think I just do this instead. Uh <laughs> I'm gonna spend four mana and cast past in flames. I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna cast fierce guardianship and counter target non creature spell. Test it again, Brandon. Show him who's boss. You still get your triggers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that says what? It just counter it. Yeah, counter target non creature spell. Just... Now I got a flashback. It. Yeah, if you want to use it. Unfortunately, it doesn't mix out. We all, all right. take well, two. Varen, 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 yeah, you all take two. Varen gets plus two, plus two. I think I'm gonna die to Varen. You said that last turn. <laughs> but, but, 
but it could happen, yes. I'll swing, uh... That's, that's a nice necropotence there. It'd be a shame if little birdies shit on it. <laughs> uh, Brian's the only one without blockers, it looks like, right now. Correct. Yep. All right, I'll send four at Ryan, then. I I take four. Pass turn. Seems to be the only one that takes Vagrant attack damage. Weird. Well, you gotta play blockers, man. Didn't you learn anything from last game? <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, blockers, Other than I blockers. lost because I misplayed. <laughs> how many blockers does my Mr. Cool have? Mm, two. two. One in the air. I also have one guy in the air, so. Uh, on top of the truth. I gotta roll, see if I take three damage. Probably do. Hi, right, evens, I don't take damage. Uh, I guess it's time to see if anyone's going to stop me. Uh, my my bed's no. <laughs> me too, Ryan. My bed is also no. Uh, we're gonna play this mana confluence. <laughs> is Nick gonna win this turn? No, 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 yeah, no. I'm gonna go with no. Uh... So my misplay gave Nick the first game, and then Nick just won the second game. Yeah. <laughs> We haven't finished the second game yet. Um, Alright, I finally have red now that I have mana confluence. I don't have any red mana this whole time. Yeah, we're gonna do. We want to tap, right? We want to tap. Black. Yeah. Um, great engine by you. So I'm going to gain two life, which will give all my dudes a counter. Um, and then I will cast Spike Feeder. Yep, that's the key. And that's game. It comes in with two counters, he gets an extra counter, and I also draw two cards. And now I can make infinite life. Which makes infinite power. Yes, which makes infinite power. To all my dudes. Um, how many blockers you got, Ryan? I have none. How many flying blockers do you have, Brandon? One. Remember me, Brandon. <laughs> I have one as well. Are you dead, Ryan? I am dead. Unless Nick doesn't want me dead for some weird reason. Yeah, that would probably be a negative there, soldier. Well, I, I was gonna draw a land and totally play a six-drop dragon and that wouldn't have haste and, and sit, sit here and die. <laughs> Right, uh, so I, I guess I'm gonna do my combo. I'm assuming nobody's gonna interrupt it. Yeah, I got nothing. I'm, okay, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna gain like. How much? How big of a number I can have? This is the part where y'all can see. Hold up! Boys. I actually, actually, I can't interrupt it. Okay. Do, do, do. If you guess if you go interrupt, you should interrupt on the first on, iteration. So I'll remove a counter. Hang on, it's not red. Damn it. Let me double check though if I have another way. He's got 35 cards in hand. Give him a second. <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. <laughs> I concede on the stack. <laughs> if it was red, I could have Ray of Frosted and stopped it. But we're dead? Yeah, we're dead. We're not oh, okay. dead. He just has infinite life and two infinite. Three he also in, has three infinite, infinite power, power on board. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do 500 because I can type that number into the thing. So all my dudes have 500 power over what, what you see. Well, actually, I can tap I can tap one of his creatures, saving one of us. It, it does tap a creature. I yeah, can't give you want... infinite life, so it doesn't matter. So. I was useless. It's fine. Don't save me. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys are conceding, uh, I'll blow up one of Mr. Cool's blockers. Swing at him. I'm assuming he's conceding too, though, so... Man, my next five cards would have been, uh... I would have had Zurin Orb, which would have, which would have saved me. Yeah, I think I was going to die with Commander Damage. That's going to be pretty hard. We all I was actually going to do a wheel that turn, too, so that Mr. Cool wouldn't have 35 cards in hand. I would have enjoyed a wheel. Very much so. Well, I would have killed you. I was going to kill your Flying Walker and swing you. Well, 
there is that. So, well, the only way this deck win, this deck only wins two ways, and that's uh, Aetherflux and uh, Sangam Bond Exclusive Blood. Don't worry about it, Ryan. what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> we almost lost him. I, I ain't even worried, Brandon. I ain't. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> So if I don't get if I don't get either one of my two win cons out, this deck doesn't win very much. Was uh one of them uh sixteen online? Uh no, but that uh, that's a key card to filter through my win con. So Fraction Unlife, Bullets of Citadel, Necropotence. Yeah, that'll do it. So that no. lets you filter through your entire deck until you get to time warp, exquisite blood, sanguine bond. I wasn't looking. Shame. Oh, what happened? I was like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you... I gotta top off real quick. You guys don't... You guys, Your guys' assault level is nowhere near as bad as my normal pod. My normal pod is... Really? Oh, I feel sorry for you then. You see, it was pretty chill, oh, to, chill tonight. One, counter deck. one person in particular wasn't playing. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, my friend's one-one counter deck goes infinite six ways from Sunday. Jeez. Infinite power, infinite life, infinite, uh, infinite t extra turns. Like, he runs the Spike Feeder Archangel of Thune. He runs, uh, the Squirrel from MH2 that when it gets a one-one counter, uh, makes a one-one token. He runs the Carthus Commando. When a creature enters, everything gets a 1-1 counter. Sage of Hours. Remove 5-1-1 counters, take an extra turn. Good games tonight, guys. Um, I, can, I can dig that. We... Hey. We saw some epic misplays, and... Uh, epic greediness. Greediness to the max. That's, uh... Mr. Cool Stacks did their thing. Got to have some fun. Nick managed to scoop up two victories. Vernon, Varen, somehow better, but still bad. It's okay. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> We're good that second game. Just... And I got to mollywop a player out of nowhere. We're closer. Wait, yep. If I hadn't had a combo hand, I think Brennan wins that game. Probably. Uh, Yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't know. Maybe my hand really kind of fizzled out. It would I would have had to draw a lot of my cantrips off the top. Which you think shouldn't be that big of an issue, seeing as there's 38 of them, but apparently it's harder than it seems. Yeah, cantrips and commander are oof. They're difficult. Yeah, it worked last night. I got Vayra into like 18-18, double strike, trample, something. Yeah. You should run Vayra like my Jessatana deck and run stuff like Infuriate. I don't know what that means. Just give it, just give it plus three, plus two. At instant speed. Yeah, but how much mana does that cost? That's a one man. That's one mana. But you don't draw a card, right? <laughs> you don't draw a card. <laughs> but yeah, Brandon, I think plus, maybe you, maybe you just need a, three turn. You just need a few more cards that give you like a plus two card advantage. Instead of just yeah, a plus, I think so. instead of breaking even, or a plus one instead of breaking even. I can't make her a 69-420, but I will find something that I can. <laughs> you got to, uh, yeah, I don't know. 69 is like a prime number or something. Okay, so my buddy is convinced that Mana Crypt is not going to get reprinted in Double Masters. In the new Double Masters set. Double Masters? Uh, probably not. Maybe. It might be. I mean, it has been reprinted in, like, every Master set, though. We should call him and ask. Seems like a pretty good chance it probably will be. I was actually really irritated, though, when they uh, announced Kozilek being reprinted in Double Masters. Wizards are like the police. They have to tell you the truth if you ask them a question. Is that so? Yeah. I, I thought they were never late. No, no. Never late. 
Nick, I don't like the way you're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. I think we're going to call it a night. Had some fun in Commander. We'll get a schedule up for uh, the rest of June. Uh, probably this weekend. Uh, look forward to hearing from you guys, seeing you guys. For all the exciting stuff coming next month. All right. Yes. Hopefully next time I'm on, I'll have one of my new decks I'm working on done. Me too. Same. I'm working on Zeator the Incinerator. Um, shout out, yeah, shout out Pride Month. Jenny Faye. And uh, the two artifact Stranger Things commanders. Yeah. Stranger Things commanders. I'm probably going to hey, build new decks. I, I know Brandon's already working on several. Yeah, I got a few different decks that I'm working on right now uh, that I'll try to get here pretty soon. Get some more variety added into the show. Well, Jenny Faye is like, when I read Jenny Faye, I'm like, she is insane. You just build a token and you can either do like token aggro with 2-2 two, two haste tokens. Yep, yep. All right, Mr. 500 Life, you got any parting thoughts? You're good, Scrubs. <laughs> Ouch. Yep. Right in my 40% win rate against Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was going to get my uh, get uh, get beat up by Nick. I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> well, I knew when I necropotenced for most of my life total, I was either dead in a few turns or... I might. I, I could probably come back if I had. If I top decked the right cards out of those. Honestly, cards. I honestly I would have necroed for higher. Well, like then again, like <laughs> necropotence is one of those cards. It's like you either go all in or you don't play it. Yeah, I would. I would have necroed for like thirty nine. It's like y'all can't do anything. I'm at one life. <laughs> Bro, with the hand reliquary tower. I need to build. Ritual, it's a necro. And you're gonna gain two life every turn. Yeah, dude, just take all of it. Give me, a, give me half my deck. <laughs> the uh, I need to build just like a punishment deck, like a deck that gets better the more more broken stuff my opponents are doing. Like Play, if, uh, if Nick's playing 12, 12 lands a turn, I'll just price of progress them to kill him. If Mister Cool's drawing thirty cards, then I'm gonna ring flare trap him. <laughs> just play Nekas. Actually, nope. Necropotence gets around Nekasar because it's not draw. It, it adds to hand. Nick, you, uh, what was that guy's name, Nick? I know this was uh, easily 12 years ago. I don't remember his name. Played at Nirvana. Uh, Played at Nirvana. And, uh, wasn't, it wasn't, uh, Jim. And it wasn't the other, it wasn't James. And it wasn't the artist guy. It was the, the, the other guy. Uh, but he had that, he had, uh, it was, uh, it was when standard was really wide. He built like a, a Boros, Holy Day, Temple Bell, Rune Flare Trap deck. I remember that deck very specifically. <laughs> I don't remember that deck very well. I'm not sure who you're talking about. It sounds like um. It was, he had a son, really curly headed dude. It was a son. Oh, the guy that was the kid. I do remember him. I do remember him because he played all the time. I can't remember his name. Um, Aaron. I don't know. Did he play at Gooses? I, oh, I think he. I think you're right. No, no, no. He only ever played at Nirvana. Oh, he played at Nirvana. I knew a guy with a kid that played at Gooses. That's why I asked. Shout out at <laughs> shout outs to Tennessee. There you go. <laughs> Jackson, Tennessee. Yes, to our Jackson, Tennessee viewer base, <laughs> we see you. We don't visit you, but we do see you. That's right. Oh, that was Duck Duck. Yeah, it was over there. <laughs> duck Duck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, oh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna shut this down. There, there's <laughs> WoW or other things to play. Y'all have a great week, and we'll see y'all next week. Yeah. On here on TMC. Yeah.